Welcome to part 7 of calibrating your 3D printer. We are back on the Teaching Tech website and we have gone through and done the frame check, PID auto tune, the first layer, our baseline print, our E step calibration, our slicer flow rate calibration. We're going to skip the stepper motor driver current. If you're having any sort of skipping in your stepper motor or if your stepper motors are overheating, I would suggest you go through this, but we're going to skip it for now because we're not having those issues. And we're going to go to retraction tuning. Now, if you'll remember from some of my earlier videos, on the first layer print specifically, we had a lot of stringing going on. And so this is going to address that issue. So that is all, everything to do with retraction. And that's how much your extruder is actually pulling back your filament whenever you're 3D printing. So what we're going to do is go through and we've got a G-code generator and we're going to tweak individually the retraction distance, retraction speed, extra restart distance, prime speed, as well as the Z-hop. So should be at least five prints, really, if you want to dial in. You could just go with the retraction distance. This, by far, out of all the testing I've done, affects the stringing the most. The others really don't have that much of uh, an effect on the stringing. So let's get started. On the Ender 3 V2, we have a Bowden type extruder. So typically, we start out with six millimeter retraction distance. Now in Cura, my current retraction distance is five millimeters. I've got stringing going on, that's not enough. But let's go ahead and change these values. I'm gonna start with four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we should see some stringing down here. And then as we go up the tower, we should be able to see a point where we don't have stringing. Now. I'm going to just have all of these retraction speeds. You only want to change one variable at a time. I'm going to set them to 40 millimeters per second. Leave all that alone. Once again, we're uh, printing at 200 degrees Celsius, 220 by 220. That all looks good. So now I'm going to download the G code. Come into calibration prints. And I'm going to go ahead and overwrite retraction. Now, I have this opened up in Simplify 3D, and you can see the different speeds represented here. And so each little point in this tower is a, a different retraction distance. So with that said, let's throw this on an SD card and print it off. Now that I've got the SD card loaded into the 3D printer, I'm going to go ahead and go to print, retraction, and start my print. So now our tower is printed, and we look at the bottom at 4 millimeter retraction distance, and we've got some pretty serious stringing going on at 5 millimeters, which is the default setting inside of Cura, and what we've been using, we've got a little bit. And as we move up to six and seven, I'm really not noticing any stringing at all. And so somewhere around six or seven is what I should go with. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with seven millimeters as my retraction distance. And now we're going to test the speed and print off this same tower again. We've now found out that a good retraction distance is seven millimeters. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna change all of our attraction distances to seven. And now we're gonna change the retraction speed. So I'm gonna tweak this by 10 millimeters. So I'm gonna go 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70 millimeters per second. And we're going to see how this affects the string. We're leaving the retraction distance the same. All the other variables need to be the same. It's a lot of testing. I get it. But you need to do one variable at a time. So now we're going to save this G code. And I'm going to name this one retraction speed. 
I'm going to overwrite the one I've already done. And we're going to put this on an SD card and print it off. So now I'm going to go to print and retraction speed. That's what I'm going to test. And we'll go ahead and fast forward through this print and evaluate what happens. The retraction speed had very little impact on the quality of the print and stringing involved in printing this tower. So with that said, I would go ahead and just leave our retraction speed at 40. And I'm not going to mess with the other three settings. They're best left at standard values. You certainly can play around and test on your own. But I'm going to go ahead and call this retraction properly tuned. And we're going to move on to the next step. Thanks.